All right, Chad Wilson, All Eyes DB Camp. We're gonna go with a very simple one today. How to backpedal. You wouldn't guess it, but a lot of people don't know how to backpedal the right way. Sharp backpedal means you can hold your leverage, you can stay in your backpedal, and you can make very, very good breaks on the ball. So today we're gonna give a little small basic tutorial on how to backpedal. Even if you're advanced, you may learn something from this today. So here's what we got. First of all, get yourself in a comfortable stance. For me, I like to have this front foot about a yard or so ahead of my back foot, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do in our pedal is push off the front foot and reach with the back, okay? Push off the front foot, reach with the back. And if I could have you slide around this way, just so you can understand, all right? So we're pushing off the front foot, reach with the back. After we do that, here's the important thing. We need to be on the balls of our feet, not having our heels hit the ground. That's number, that's number two on this. Push off the balls of your feet, okay? We don't want our heels touching the ground. So let's slide back and start from the beginning again. The other thing we don't want to do, point number three, is we don't want to have our feet wide. If your feet are wide, it makes your hips jostle like this, and now you don't have any speed going back. I don't care what you do as a defensive back. 99% of what you do needs to happen right directly under your hips, and backpedaling is no different. So you want to have your feet in here tight. When I do my DB drills with my guys, I usually do it on the lines coming off the sideline. And that's so they have an idea of how close their feet need to be together. So if we slide back around this way, you can see how the feet are in close, tight, okay? And you're trying to keep them in here as opposed to out here, all right? And one more point, one more point we want to be aware of when we're backpedaling is that we want to keep, again, our weight over our toes, stay on the balls of our feet, keep our heels off the ground, and then we also want to not have too much motion here with our elbows because our motion here too much motion with the elbows means we're going to pick our heels up high and that's just going to slow down our pedal okay so push off the front reach with the back stay on the balls of our feet and see my hands moving slowly here they're not doing this because i don't want my heels going high up off of the ground okay don't want my heels going high up off the ground little blooper we're going to move that right quick all right so from the top from the top okay Push off the front, reach with the back. Weight over the toes. Pushing off the balls of our feet. Keeping our feet in close. Not too much motion with our hands because we can't have our heels coming up. All right, when my guys are pedaling, I try to remind them, keep a low heel. We're keeping the heel low to the ground. We want to keep contact with the ground so that we can get a foot in the ground whenever we need to change direction because we never know when that is. So let's just take a look at it from the top. Push off the front. Reach with the back, stay on the balls of our feet, low heel, minimum arm movement, and we're staying in here, feet in tight. We can come out of our back pedal whenever we need to, all right? And that's how to back pedal. You may have noticed the heat on my feet. These are the new Adi Zeros 8.0s. Get a look at that, all right? These are from Adidas. We appreciate Adidas. And this entire segment, how to back pedal, sponsored by Adidas and the new Adi Zeros. Gotta have some heat on your feet, okay? Heat on your feet. All Eyes DB Camp, consistency breeds results.